now welcoming head coach Jordan Mincy into the post game presented by Varsity Financial Services. Uh, coach, this game really kind of turned there about halfway through that first half. Where did things start going well for Liberty and, and maybe change? You know what? I think we got some foul trouble. Uh, we had a pretty good rhythm going there early, and then we got some foul trouble. And then I think he just kind of messed up, um, you know, our, 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 our kind of our offensive flow. But um, at the same time, let's just give uh, credit to, you know, Liberty. You know, they made some shots. They made some adjustments. Coach McKay got a ton of respect for him. He came out, and, you know, after those timeouts, uh, I think the first four minute media timeout, they were um, – they had hit a three, and then they went on some insane run uh, yeah. from three after that timeout. And so they did a great job of adjusting, and like I said, I uh, got to give all credit to them. Hey, it's early. I mean, this game just went final a few minutes ago. But where can you start looking at lessons to be learned from this experience? we got to do a better job of um, not necessarily blocking out the noise and having a, a better understanding of who we are. Um, you know, I, I talked to our guys earlier just making sure that we have to do a, a better job of making sure that we stay humble and hungry at the same time. And so, you know how it is. You come off a major win. That was my biggest fear. Coming off a UNF win, um, guys hitting a lot of noise, uh, a lot of people, you know, cheering them on and happy for them, which, you know, at the same time, you got to get next, you got to get ready for the next opponent. And we knew, you know, Liberty, they, they've done a great job in this league and we have a ton of respect for them. But at the same time, yeah, we got to stick to who we are and stay within character. And so we had uh, some mental breakdowns tonight, you know, whether it's a free throw line violation, um, multiple offensive rebounds that, you know, get a, a shooter going, Darius McGee. You know, we knew he's a dynamic scorer, and you can't make those small mistakes, especially when you're on the road. Well, another chance at it on Saturday as Jacksonville heads up to face off against Bellarmine, and we'll look forward to heading on the road with you again and seeing the action when it takes place at Freedom Hall. Coach, thanks for the time as always. Thanks, I appreciate it.